If you've ever wondered what that uh, squadron in the corner of the base is, here's your information. <laughs> At the end of a long, empty road sits the 726th Air Control Squadron. We have the equipment that allows people to control the airspace in a deployed location. They get their job done with some of the oldest equipment in their field. Some of it is more than 40 years old. That's why I had to uh, spend Friday explaining why we need soldering tools and why we need alcohol and why we need whatever. But they don't let age get in the way of keeping up with their equipment. No amount of complaining, no amount of how we feel about it will change what we do. So we do it and we do it well. And performing with excellence is better than the alternative. It's a lot more rewarding than moping about, oh, boo-hoo, our equipment sucks. And right about the time they get used to working with outdated equipment, they face a new challenge. You actually bring in the new people and you start seeing yourself transition into that, uh, yeah, I suppose leadership experience. Passing on the lessons they've learned. Do well and it'll go well, I promise. <laughs> to people who want to leave. I know the way out, acceptance. <laughs> and to people who want new equipment. Changes always seem to be coming one way or another. But they don't let the possibility of change tomorrow get in the way of doing the job today. If it's something bigger, that would be nice. That'll give us something to look forward to. Uh, in the meantime, we'll just keep doing our job. Because the way out is acceptance. Yep. Airman First Class Justin Carnahan, Mountain Home Air Force Base, <laughs> Idaho. Air Force. <laughs>